first became interested in street art when I was looking in Google Street View and saw a big purple hippopotamus and researched it and discovered that it was kind of a movement that people do. And on visits to Europe, um, I went and looked at that and found other street art that I liked and found that there was a whole world of, of street art. When I first started making doors, uh, I was following a lot of artists on Instagram. So I gravitated toward Instagram and posting. Um, it was a way of showing the other artists the stuff that I was doing. However, as people um, started following me, uh, they started making requests. And a lot of other artists started reaching out to do collaborations. And I had never thought of doing collaborations, but collaborations had become um, my favorite thing about doing um, the street art, working with other artists. So I think it's had a very positive impact on the art that I do. I think my favorite collaboration I've done, it's rather simple, um, was with an artist in um, Paris, and his name is Gregos, and he's a... Uh, a very well-known artist and he does um, installed art. Uh, he has a, a plaster casting of his face and he does these all over Paris and uh, um, we collaborated on a door. My favorite door that I've made is probably a sunset door. It's a stylized sunset in oranges and yellows and um, I installed it near the Golden Gate Bridge. It's actually the, the photo I use on my Instagram account. You know, you don't need a lot of special skills to do street art. I thought you did. I thought you had to be able to do perfect art to be an artist. And what I discovered um, through trial and error was you just start with something, anything. You just make that first thing and then you iterate and then you get better and better and better at it and you find new ways and new techniques and new tools and then as you do it you talk to other artists that are doing similar things and they give you hints and tips so you don't really need anything special to do it in alameda i did a rainbow door right after the orlando nightclub shooting of a gay club and I did the rainbow door, put it along the beach, and it became a shrine with candles, flowers, things like that right after the, the shooting. Anybody that wants to get into street art, I just recommend that you just start. Just do it. Just do some fun. You know, make, make something that's more than just a tag. Um, do things that people will enjoy. Bring attention to you know disused spaces. Don't be disrespectful with where you put them, uh, but um, but be fun with it. You know, do things that people will enjoy. It's all about the fun.